What is up YouTube? My name is Clickwid and I am back again today bringing you guys another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video and today guys we are going to be doing a review on a brand new card that I just got. You guys saw it in my video yesterday when I opened up Ultimate Legend Lawrence Taylor. This card is absolutely insane. I am loving it so far. Just wanted to give you guys a quick look at my updated defense and my linebackers here. And you're probably noticing that I actually do have Lawrence Taylor playing defensive end. And the reason for that is because you're going to actually see that, in my opinion, he makes more plays as a defensive end. And, and uh, you know, other people might have an, another opinion on that. I, I, to be honest with you guys, I kind of think he'd play amazing at any position. You could play him at either end, any of the linebacker positions. He's going to be incredible. He has, look at these attributes, 94 speed with 97 block shed. He has just amazing awareness and pursuit and his play recognition is incredible as well so that just makes him in my opinion this is the best linebacker card in the game i don't see any card that could even potentially be better than this there's not any other ultimate legends coming out no other golden tickets nothing else is planned ea actually tweeted the other day that it doesn't sound like they're going to be putting out any cards going forward so this is it this is the best card defensively in the entire game in my opinion and especially the best linebacker um when you add in the fact that he actually has a hundred power move by default and the card adds plus five power move to your entire defense so he actually has a hundred and five power move you can't see it in the card but he actually also has a hundred and two finesse move as well as a hundred acceleration and you know there's other things that this card has that are kind of hidden with just the attributes that you see on the back of it it also has things like 95 strength and uh the 98 injury makes it so that the card practically never gets injured it has 99 tackling 102 hit power i mean holy crap this card's insane then another thing that this card is amazing at that you probably wouldn't you probably wouldn't believe it unless you saw it it actually has 80 man coverage, which is definitely one of the better man coverage linebackers in the game. But it has 90 zone coverage. 90 zone coverage! To put that into perspective, there are only two linebackers in this entire game that have better zone coverage than Lawrence Taylor. And those are Derek Brooks, the playoff card, and Patrick Willis, golden ticket. Other than that, there is no linebacker that has better zone coverage. This card legit has better zone coverage than a hell of a lot of safeties, other than maybe your top guys. This card is absolutely incredible everywhere. It's one of the best pass rushers, it's one of the best run defenders, and it's absolutely an elite pass defender. So I don't see any reason why this is not the best defensive player in the entire game, as you see him making just play after play after play. Now, I did actually include some videos here of him not doing so well, so that's something that you guys want to also take a look at as well, because uh, unfortunately, at the end of the day, your stick skills do matter. And as good as it is to have a card where he's actually great in coverage, you see here as a, an opponent of mine just abused his tight end over and over and over against me, and Lawrence Taylor just wasn't making the plays on his own. So at the end of the day, like I said, you do need to be able to make plays with him yourself. And sometimes that's easier said than done. But look at that hit right there as he forces a fumble up the middle. Um, that one, I, I just held the A button or the X button on PlayStation 4 and basically hit sticked as soon as I got near him and he just destroyed him. I really didn't do anything special. And this one is awesome. It reminded me of a Farouk Spinebuster if you guys are WWE fans. But anyways, so I, I really do enjoy this card. I definitely, like I said, think it's the best defensive player in the game. Is it worth the million coins that it's going for? Well, that's kind of up to you. I mean, it really depends on how many coins that you want to invest into an individual card. How many do you have? I mean, is it going to mean that you have to basically sell off your entire team to get this one card? If so, I don't think it's worth it. But if you've already got a 99 team and you're sitting there with a million coins, yeah, absolutely. Make the investment in this card because it is going to be a freaking beast for you in every area of the game. It's going to get interceptions. It's going to force tons of fumbles. It's going to be a beast against the run. And it's honestly, it's the funnest user card that I think that I've played with on defense. I had a blast playing with this. I these All these clips are from like six games or so, I think maybe. And uh, I was just usering him and, uh, and testing out how he did when he wasn't getting usered as well. 
because I want to make sure that people realize that some cards are better when you user them than others, like the free safety Calvin Johnson card, for example, a golden ticket, and, and not the other one as well. Um, both of those cards are not exceptional if you're not using them. But when you do user them, they can very well become the best player in the entire game. So you have to keep that in mind. Whereas this Lawrence Taylor card, you don't really need to user it to make it great. Although in pass coverage, unfortunately, this game is just pretty much broken when it comes to stopping tight ends on things like out routes and, um, and pass leads and stuff like that. So unfortunately, even if you have a card like this Lawrence Taylor or the Derek Brooks card that I have, for example, that are two of the top three linebackers in the game when it comes to pass coverage, they still get beat by Jordan Cameron and Greg Olson. So it's it's just the way that it is, I guess. Unfortunately, there's not really a whole lot you can do about it. But at the same time, though, they do make better plays than the other linebackers. So it is still an improvement. With that being said, guys, I would say that this card is an absolute 10 out of 10. Um, like I said, there's not a better defensive card in the game overall when it comes to both usering and not usering it. It's an absolutely insane card. I'm not going to be keeping it. This is going to be the last time that you guys are going to see video clips with it on my team unless somehow I come across it again and then I might keep it. But what I'm actually going to do is sell this card and use the profits to turn into some better pink slips cards for you guys going forward. So it's going to be a good net positive for you guys. You guys are going to have a chance to win better cards and pink slips. And I hope that means a lot to you guys because I'm doing my best to try and give you guys the best possible content that I can in pink slips every single week. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you leave a like and don't forget to comment as well. If you guys have tried out this card, let me know what you think about it. Or if you've tried out another card that you think might even be better, let me know in the comment sections below because I'm actually interested to see what you guys have to say about this card and other ones that are kind of in the similar price range. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.